We are so excited to have Dr. Sylvia Binder with us today as she highlights the Biomedical Information Therapy Symposium at the 23rd Annual World Congress in Las Vegas on December 9th and 10th. Energy medicine is the diagnostic and therapeutic use of energy, whether produced by or detected by a medical device or by the human body. Energy medicine recognizes that the human body ut utilizes various forms of energy for communications involved in physiological regulation. Sylvia Binder is the founder of the Binder Institute for Personalized Medicine in Southern Germany. Sylvia received her ND degree from the College of Naturopathy in London, UK, followed by her PhD degree in naturopathy. Sylvia has been helping chronically ill patients from all around the world. She is on the advisory boards of the Medical Wellness Association and the Occidental Institute Research Foundation, and a member of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, and she is involved in the clinical studies at various university clinics, lectures around the world, and offers specialized courses in integrative personalized medicine for healthcare practitioners. Dr. Binder, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm going to turn the webinar over to you. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for the wonderful introduction. Hi, this is Sylvia Binder, and I'm coming to you today from the Black Forest in southern Germany. There is more and more interest in energy medicine from physicians and patients all around the world. So the Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine and I put the symposium together, which is all about the use of energetics or biophysics in diagnosis and treatment. Energy medicine is as old as human history. And energy medicine is here to stimulate the innate healing ability within us to jumpstart body regulation. Albert Einstein in the middle of the 20th century already said that matter, the solid stuff that we can see and touch, is actually made of energy, subatomic particles which are resonating at different speeds. In fact, he said, the whole universe is made of vibrating patterns of energy. And there's another guy, Nikola Tesla, and he's responsible for our modern AC electricity supply system, and by the way, not Edison. And in the beginning of the 20th century, he said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, you've got to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Humans are electromagnetic beings. We use the realm of energy, electricity, or electromagnetism daily to diagnose our patients. This is nothing esoteric. Look at these instruments. We have an X-ray device, an EKG, EEG, MRI, ultrasound device, and those are all forms of energetic diagnostic instruments. The symposium will deal with the therapeutic aspect of energy medicine, along with different forms of energy testing methods, allowing you to capture more information about your patients. And you may be familiar with Michael Curran with laser ultrasound, TENS, biofeedback in electromagnetic field stimulation, the ondomet. And most likely all of you will be very familiar with the incubator, which uses a form of energy medicine by using blue light. So we have two days packed with lectures from European, US, and Canadian physicians, scientists, sharing their work with you on energy medicine, from fundamentals, the science, and use of it in daily practice within their specialties. I will be leading the symposium and will review the essence and significance using energy medicine as an integral part of your anti-aging or integrative medicine practice. Did you know that integrative medicine is now implemented all over the globe? I travel, lecture, and treat patients around the world, and I'm so thankful for what I'm able to learn about other cultures, their medical approaches, along with new movement of governments into this space, offering the public an integrative approach to health, including energy medicine. I want to share with you my own model of integrative personalized medicine. I want to bring it closer to you. I want to inspire you using philosophies 
that may be ancient or groundbreaking, ranging from traditional Chinese medicine to homeopathy to nutrition to anthroposophy. And I want to strengthen your ability of intuition and exploring the use of focused electromagnetic fields to discover hidden pathology and treating such weakened areas in an easy and safe way. Yes, I will present cases, my own cases, ranging from third degree burns to third stage prostate cancer. So let's go to the mornings of our symposium. These are the people who will be lecturing, and I'll start with my friend Dr. Stephen Sinatra. He's a clinical cardiologist, and he will talk about vibrational medicine and the wisdom of smart medicine to heal the heart. He's known as the number one integrative cardiologist in the US, and he combines whatever makes sense, including conventional medicine, nutrition, and energetic medicine. He's also the founder of the Dr. Steven Sonato Heart MD Institute, and he has always been a pioneer in this field, which he so lovingly calls the field of electroceuticals. It's the first time that I heard that term from him. He's a good family friend of ours, and uh, it's an interesting term. It doesn't quite hit it, but if you come from the, the terms of pharmaceuticals, nutraceuticals, and electroceuticals, it's a very cute term. So he says electroceuticals turn on enzyme systems to release more ATP. Cellular energy is absolutely essential for regeneration and healing. Dr. Mark de Havis is the Assistant Professor of Environmental and Resource Studies at Trent University in Canada, where she teaches and does research on the biological effects of environmental contaminants. She will talk about the missing link to vibrant health and the paradigm shift in health, but also in health care, using electromagnetic energy for assessment and treatment. I was able to convince uh, also my friend, all of these people are friends of mine, uh, from Norway, my colleague, Dr. Bjorn Oberby, he will join us, and he's been a physician for close to 40 years, and his research was special microscopy, focusing on Lyme disease and use of biological energy medicine will astound you. His own pain of enduring Lyme disease and finding no help in conventional medicine has occupied his passion and drive to examine the interaction of our immune response to microbes and their involvement in disease, along with our emotional state. Dr. Overby will share his story, how he successfully healed himself from Lyme with immune therapy and electromagnetism. And Michael Gallitzer, he's Suzanne Summers' anti-aging physician. He will share with us his daily use of energy medicine in his busy Los Angeles-based practice. You know there are many pieces to outstanding health, and that's the title of his recently published book, Outstanding Health, and he will review them in detail. Dr. Gallitzer is also the medical director of the American Health Institute. In the afternoons, we'll spend the non-CME portion doing hands-on use of OnDemit, an intelligent biophysical technology, allowing practitioners to get to the core problems of symptoms and disease. The inventor, who also happens to be my husband, Rolf Binder, will join us and review the science and technologies that he has developed starting from early bioenergetic technology concepts to today's available devices, which he himself invented. It's all about recognizing patients from a more wholesome and a zoomed-out perspective, reflecting the patient's truth the unknown, the unseen. Core problems represent dysfunctional cells and tissue, including inflammation, infection, scars, and more profoundly, emotional trauma or shock residing as cellular memory. How would we ever be able to find those areas in the body? 
while with the special method and the on-limit technology, I will show you how we do this. Treatment is accomplished with focused electromagnetic fields. I will teach you how to scan the patient's body with a unique biofeedback loop, working with the patient's autonomic nervous system, applying the electromagnetic stimulation where it is mostly needed by the body, and then interpret the information from different philosophical views, including traditional Chinese medicine, the new German medicine, Dr. Hamer's work, homeopathy, and anthroposophy, which mean Steiner's work. Learn how to integrate energy medicine into your allopathic, anti-aging, integrative, functional, or alternative medical practice, or your med spa. Patients are seeking this form of medicine. Your colleagues are probably already using some form of energy medicine. It's time for you to learn about energy medicine not only from textbooks, but from real physicians and scientists who have all practice and experience its benefits for many years in different continents and in different ways. So why attend? Well, quantum physics has discovered, as Sir Bruce Lipton says, and he's the author of The Biology of Belief, a must-read book if you haven't already, that everything is vibrating and spinning. Everything has identifying energy patterns. So every material structure in the universe, including you and me, radiates a unique energy signature. So why attend? Why would this be an important two days in which to invest your time and money? Because energy medicine may be the missing link to everything else that you're already doing. So I look forward to seeing you December 9th and to be spending two days with you learning about this exciting new frontier in medicine. This new frontier is here now, it is not the future of medicine, but it is the very presence of medicine. Be part of this movement and start or continue your journey at the Biomedical Information Therapy Symposium. Be well and see you soon. Thank you so much, Dr. Binder, for sharing your expertise and highlighting this educational opportunity. For those of you who are new to the World Congress or if you come every year, uh, this opportunity and this workshop is for you. You'll earn CME, participate in interactive case studies, engage in Ask the Expert sessions, and choose the specialty tracks for you. Uh, please do call your educational advisor today to secure your spot. Uh, the phone number is 561-919. 4960. Thank you so much, Dr. Binder. Have a fantastic day. Thank you, you too. Be well, Lindsay. Thank you.